action. G'day guys. Welcome back to another tool shout out. So today we're gonna to have a little chat about something with lots of numbers on it and something that can help your day to make it a little bit easier. This item I've had in my toolbox for some time and it's interesting how that after you've worked around particular type of people, so different uh, tradesmen and stuff as an apprentice, you, you look at how they work and how they operate. And uh, I've noticed the use of a fold out ruler is uh, starting to become pretty common with a few of the guys that I've dealt with. Now, obviously, they, uh, everyone has their personal preferences and stuff on how they do things, but I am definitely, definitely loving the fact that I keep a fold out ruler sitting on my tool belt now, uh, ready to rock and roll. So, uh, this is a one meter one, just an Empire four fold one meter ruler. Um, I've never actually really used it fully, fully, because um, most of the times when you're going over that sort of around that one meter mark, you're normally using a tape, but it's fantastic for detail. So when you've got to try and line something up and the tape's a little bit too cumbersome and hard to deal with, all right? Having something like this and being able to handle it with ease with one hand, um, it, it's, it's quite good. So I've done uh, some scribing with this as well recently as well. So I've actually had this on the pitch of the roof and then up on the, uh, up on the flashing itself on the ridge. And I uh, was able to line up your scribe lines and stuff like that utilizing the ruler. So. Um, Probably not overly efficient. I definitely, um, I just suck at being able to transfer the points, the low and the high points on a, when you're trying to do a scribe on a ridge of a roof. So um, I found that this was quite easy, especially with a trim deck, it was crazy easy to, to use this on that. So there's a little handy tip for you guys. If you're out there and you suck like me on uh, doing scribe lines, matching your scribes with the, with our high points on your, on your sheets, then uh, yeah, this is handy to do that. Uh, you can use it as a spacer. So taking note of the width of the ruler, all right, use that as a bit of a space from packer and stuff. I think I was putting bat, ceiling batten up the other day and I just wanted to have a bit of packing behind it. So before I nailed it with the nail gun, I should put this up first. That was my spacer to run across um, the front beam of the house to get the, get the spacing for the batten, if that kind of makes sense. So yeah, handy, handy for that as well. A little bit of a packer and spacer and stuff for you too. So. Uh, yeah, guys, if you've got any other uses for rulers and stuff that you know of, make sure you throw it in the comments. Give us some tips and tricks and stuff on, on other options and other things that you've done with rulers that have come in handy that you've noticed. Because um, we're all about learning here. That's why we're here. That's what the channel's all about. And uh, yeah, guys, if you are experienced out there and you have used a ruler for an odd reason or something that you never would have thought of, then hey, chuck it in the comments. Let us know. Right, Righto, guys, that'll do for my tool shout out this week. Build on Legends, you have a cracker of a week and we'll uh, chat again soon, eh? See you.